Hey everyone, so Tyler's going to show us uh, how to clean a guitar, yes. which is a good thing. You always want to clean your instruments. Yes, it's especially good in my case because this guitar is filthy. Uh, perfect for this demonstration. Um, this is an acoustic guitar, but the same holds true for an electric guitar. Yeah. So this video, electric or acoustic, doesn't much matter. All you really need is a bottle of guitar polish or a guitar cleaner. Um, and I think the, the real key thing to know here is it's not necessarily a great idea to use Windex or uh, <laughs> Lys olive. Lysol or dishwashing. 409. Before, 409 or all that other stuff. This stuff is so cheap, there's no reason not to go get I think yep. it's a dollar. And there's a bunch of different brands, too. Tons. And it's on the internet, and it's at tons of stores. They even sell it at Best Buy now. So I've really? seen, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, it, it's really cheap stuff, like a dollar, really. Um, of course, you could people use spit, too, sometimes. And you need a polishing cloth. Yes, which, you know, and it doesn't matter. You, any old bottles will last you a long time, as you can tell from this bottle. <laughs> um, and a polishing cloth, it doesn't have to be any special polishing cloth. They do make special ones um, yeah. that they call guitar polishing cloths. This one happens to be from the Metropolitan Hotel. It was a shoe cleaner cloth, and it actually works better than any guitar cloth I ever bought at a guitar store. What's that one thing that the guy was selling on TV? The chamois? The ShamWow? <laughs> sham Don't get me started on the <laughs> ShamWow guy. Um, so with the guitar polish, you just dip the bottle onto the rag like that and start going to town. And what it'll do is it's like cleaning your car, but not. It's kind of like cleaning your car. Wax yeah. on, wax off. It's got some interesting chemical properties. Um, don't smell that stuff too much. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Probably not a good idea, especially if you're going to be in court or at work anytime soon. Um, <laughs> and, but your fingers have lots of oils on it, essentially. And that oil transfers to the guitar in a big, big way. Mm -hmm. um, and essentially what you're doing is just getting all of that oil and dirt and gunk and funk. I'd imagine that starts to affect the wood. On the it guitar. does. If you leave that stuff, and it depends on how much your fingers sweat. If your fingers sweat a lot, everyone's different. Um, I've seen pe my fingers don't sweat at all. I don't, yours don't yeah. either so much, but I've you've seen people who do. Dude, it starts getting real gunky on the gets, neck and stuff. And then and you try and borrow their guitar and it's, it's like, what gross, the heck dude, did you fingers, do to your guitar? Yeah, they turn black when yeah. you have your fingers off. Yeah, so if your fingers sweat a lot, you're probably going to need to clean a lot more than uh, Chris or I need to, but a dollar for a polishing cloth, a dollar for a bottle of polish, you're good to go. And it'll look shiny like this one yeah. when it's all done. And you can rub it anywhere. Shine. Don't, don't worry it about shine. it. Try not to get it on the strings, but it's not the end of the world yeah. if you do. And, and you can clean your neck when, when you're changing your strings is also a good time to clean your guitar because right. then you can really get on your neck and right. in between the the if you take this if yeah if you stuff. take the strings off then you have access to the fretboard mm -hmm. which in my case is really kind of gummed up and gunky right now but when you have the strings off in this case on this guitar what I'd want to do is get a razor blade and a, a sharp razor blade and just get that finger gunk off of there. Some of right you might not wood. really be up to using a razor blade to clean your guitar. Right, but depends on how long it's been since you cleaned it last, yeah. right? But go ahead and put the polish anywhere you like. Again, don't use the home cleaning products, yeah. especially, especially if you have a nice guitar. Yeah, don't got, do that. If you have a $200 guitar, not the end of the world if you gotta use a little bit of diluted uh, window cleaner, but not the greatest idea unless uh, if you have any if you have any real polish around. Don't they have a, don't they have different polishes too that have like a, a squishy thing in the actual polish that you can rub on directly onto the fretboard? Right. On they your they neck? do make special fretboard cleaners mm -hmm. um, that are different than the body cleaner. Mm -hmm. Again, it's depending on how crazy you are about cleaning your guitar. Mm -hmm. Most guitar players I know aren't that you know, yeah. you know. I get you. So in the, the, the yes, so to speak. Yeah. So um, I just use the regular polish. You know, it works fine. I but I do like using the razor blade to get the finger going yeah, out of sure. there. Yeah, for sure. And um, just be that's, careful. That's pretty much it. Use the regular clean polish cloth. Get some polish and just go to town on it.
Go to town. Go wax to town. on, wax I, off. I don't know what it is, but it makes you think like your guitar sounds better and plays better after it's clean for some reason. Because it's all shiny. Yeah, it's like it's like a new car oh. drive, drives better when it's after you wash it. Yeah. It's like new sneakers, you right. run faster. Yeah. Same kind of thing. Cool. Thank you. If you want to learn how to buy a guitar, tune a guitar, string a guitar, or clean a guitar, click on any of these videos.